How did it feel to be in that locker room on Saturday night and, and get that monkey off your back? Man, it felt great. Yeah. It's a good feeling, but at the end of the day, it's good. We got to get back to work, West Virginia. How about the representation of, of uh, Coleraine High School yet again? You had a sack, uh, Ken had a pick, Deshaun had a pick. Go Cards. Yeah, I know. Um, just the impact, uh, how the impact the Coleraine got on this team is huge, you know. We hold a great like honor for that to uh, carry on for our team, our high school team. So it's a great honor to have. You know, Mr. Frazier from uh, West Virginia, because I think you're about to meet him. The, their offensive lineman, he's all American, got several honors like you do. Um, for me, it's excited um, just for the challenge, but it's just not him. You know, they got other great offensive line, or offensive linemen he got next to him. So. We prep, we're prepping for that. It's going to be a dog fight, and I'm, we're very excited for that matchup. Corey talked after the game, said that this last week of practice felt different than any other week. Was that kind of your vantage point on it, and who do you think kind of led that shift in attitude or shift in motivation? Um, I'd say everybody. You know, we all got to chip in. We all got to put our one piece into this puzzle if we want to win. I feel like we came down to execute. We finally did that. We got to win, so it feel good. Now it's time to do it again. Let's see if we can stack them days up, stack them weeks up, and stack the game. So, very excited. Donovan Smith came in as the second leading offensive production quarterback in the league. What did you guys do differently this week to kind of limit his uh, success? Yeah, we know he's a he's a great player. We got to keep him in the pocket. I feel like we didn't really do that very well the first half. But second half, I feel like we did great for us, like keeping him going, not really like letting him st sit there in the pocket. So. I, I take my hat off on our uh, defense for that, all, especially our offense, you know, smack him in the mouth early on for us to have that momentum for the rest of the game. 52 snaps the offense had with the lead uh, Saturday. There were only 13 in the entire Big 12 play up until that point. How different is it for you getting to play with the lead where, where you're not, you know, trying to, to just hold and come from behind where you can kind of you know, pin your ears back and get after them. Yeah, you know, we, since we, we have the lead, we can start opening our playbook more as far as defensive-wise to throw at them, to uh, throw different looks at them so we can keep getting three and out. So I feel like that was a, a great feeling for Coach V and the rest of the def uh, defense staff. Looking forward to Saturday versus West Virginia. C.J. Donaldson is a guy who's top 25 in the nation in rushing. What stands out to you guys on that defensive line about what he's capable of doing? It's just not him. I just feel like overall, you got to – pretty good running back uh, room. So we just got a home in on stopping the run. I feel like we got a good chance with that, especially our veteran defensive line. We just got to go up there and show up and once again, execute. This used to be a decent rivalry. Uh, going to Morgantown can be kind of loud and, and uh, the fans can get kind of into it. But some of you guys have said you, you enjoy being on the road and, and the barking and all that stuff. Yeah, for me, I enjoy being on the road because it's just motivating when people are just talking trash. It just makes you just want to play football even more, and it just motivates you to just go get that win. So I feel like my team will be prepared, and we'll be excited to um, have this opportunity for this rivalry game. Deshaun Pace gets that interception and then, you know, ends up fumbling the ball yeah. in the same play. What's your reaction on the field when, when you see that play kind of transpire? You know, the crazy part, I wasn't on the field, and I was celebrating. Then I turned around. And Houston had the ball, so I was just a little confused. But watching that, yeah, I, I, I don't know what he was thinking. So, were you screaming to go down? Yeah, I just told him next time, just go straight, brother. That's all you gotta <laughs> do, go straight. Nobody ain't gonna touch you. So he gonna have to work on ball security as well this week. Raekwon Atkins made his first start. Just thoughts on his overall play Saturday? Just not him. I'm glad you brought that up. We got two great. Not good. Two good uh, young corners. Kalen Carroll, a guy that has stepped in for a, a senior. I feel like he's not getting the right recognition he deserves. You know, going against UCF. And then last week, like, I feel like he deserved more praise. He's a good young quarter, ready to learn. And then Raekwon, he just always, since day one, he came to this uh, university, this great confidence um, in himself. So I'm very happy for those two, especially with Kalen, because he, he worked so hard from his rest year to now. So. Shout out to them two guys. Houston's coach mentioned that early in the game, you guys kind of disrupted their game plan. Could you feel after that first sack, were they like kind of scrambling to 
change how they were blocking you because that was the pretty dominant play where you just go straight to the backfield. Yeah, um, I just feel like uh, as their head coach, I feel like they he believed in their offensive line, so he went 5-0, one on one with everybody. So I guess he trusted their offensive line, but we just went out there and executed, and then he ended up changing the uh, protection the second half. But we uh, we adjusted to it, and it still got pressure on him. So. So, uh, hats off to the offensive line. They were very talented. How big do your eyes get when you see 1-0, where you just got one guy to beat to get to the quarterback? And it's a great feeling. I don't usually get that, but it's a great <laughs> feeling. But anything to help my linebackers out, too, as well, especially in that running game. Coach Satterfield mentioned heading into the game versus Houston that you guys were trying to get pressure up front to create those interceptions. Obviously, you had four entering Saturday. Saturday night, you guys get three. Do you guys feel like you can start to carry that momentum over yeah, to West Virginia? Um, uh, after the game, I took my hats off to the corners. You know, I feel like that was probably their best overall game they had all year. You know, no penalties, no uh, holding penalties or passing interference uh, penalties. It was all locked in. They did their job, and that's all we asked for them. And then we got to uh, execute up front. That's what we did. So, if everybody um, doing their job, especially as a defensive whole, I feel like we we're a tough team to, to uh, score on. So, shout out to my guys. Obviously, Raekwon got the start over Jordan Young, and Coach Stadfield said that was kind of his way to send a message to Jordan, and then Jordan shows up, arguably the MVP of the defense. What was it like to see him kind of go into that game and know how motivated he is and then see him have such a good performance? You know, just overall, we just got to challenge each other at the end of the day. We want to win championships and compete every week. So I feel like we should. that was just a great uh, life lesson for Jordan, you know, great uh, player. Just made a mistake, but um, he came back in, didn't pout, didn't moan, just showed up to work every week, and then he, he balled out. So, shout out to Jordan. Cool. Any other questions for Dante? Thank you, sir.